Hello there, YouTube, and it's, well, you know, you should know at this point, but, um, for all people who don't, it's Squizzero30, back with another Let's Play of Age of Empires Online, and, um, yeah, so, <laughs> I had an incredibly abrupt <laughs> ending last episode, because, um, <clears throat> I think it was pretty obvious I lost track of the time of the video, and I was like, oh shit, better wrap this up. So, um, yeah, I cut it very close, and, uh, but I'm just going to continue where I left off last episode, because that was incredibly anticlimactic and abrupt, so, um, yeah, so I think I was talking about PvP, and that you couldn't work at your own pace in PvP, which is correct to an extent, I mean, for my playstyle. I mean, I could work to my own pace, I just need to be better at getting up a defense force faster. That's that's what I need to do, just build up a faster defense force, that's my main weakness. Because, I mean, you, you like, try to beat me at the long game, and it's going to be pretty be difficult to beat me at the long game, I mean... I, mean I, don't, I don't mean to be incredibly cocky, but, I mean, that's where I kind of shine. Not that I'm fantastic or anything, but I'm just generally better in the, um, in the, uh, macro play, I guess. Not really macro play, but, I mean, there's a difference between long-term play and macro playing, so I'm just going to keep it at, um, going to keep it at long-term. Because, I mean, I don't really travel too far from my base. I try to build, um... I try to build a defense up, really. I, I try to stick within my boundaries. I don't like traveling too far from my base. I mean, maybe I'm just associating this too much with StarCraft, because I compare this too much... I mean, I compare play styles too much with StarCraft in this game. And it's a bit different, because... I mean, it's quite a bit different. In StarCraft, it's a lot more expansive. Um, you, you must expand from your base a lot more than you must in Age of Empires. And, um, because you're not really self-sustainable. You, you rely, um, almost, you rely completely on limited resources of minerals and gas. And you, you really need to expand if you want to keep the supply rate coming in. It's more or less a must. Um, if this game's a bit different, you can, uh, you can stick around your base, build up a defense around your base. And, um, my mouse just spazzed out there. Because <laughs> I'm using a, not a mouse pad. <laughs> Which is, um, yeah, it's pretty stupid. But, um, yeah, I should stop comparing to StarCraft 2 so much, because they're completely different games, even though they're the same genre. I mean, one's... And because you can do micro-play and macro-play, this, this thing's like... Micromanagement in this game revolves largely around your um, military rather than your um, workers. I mean, I guess it's the same for StarCraft too, but you know, there is a somewhat notable difference. Gameplay is faster in StarCraft too, in my opinion. In this game, you're working towards a much larger goal. I mean, you can rush. I just don't think it works in this game. I mean, it can, but not amazingly. And, um, yeah. I, um, I, I can choose from a random advisor now, because I built my advisor hall, finally. And I picked the mason dude, because the mason is, like, beast. The mason guy's a beast. And... <laughs> I think I'm pretty much, yeah, I'm just gonna, this is where I said we get back to the advisors, and we are now equipping my advisors. And I'm not sure, I'm trying to figure out how this shit works. <laughs> Come on, put the freaking advisors down. There we go, I finally figured it out. So yeah, I now have two advisors, and I picked the Mason because I think... You know, you know that 
Egyptians build a bit faster? Well, I mean, Greeks can kind of make a lot up for that with their advisor. That, and I mean, we're already... It's not really resources that are a problem for me. I don't ever get the lumberjack because wood is a total bitch to collect or um or the builder because building quickly I really like that. And now I'm gonna build some some of these manufacturing workshops that you know get you resources because I, I've increased the build limit now. I built a logger shop earlier. I think I'm yeah, I'm building the animal hide shop now. And I kinda want I kinda wanna surround my oracle. <laughs> um yeah, I've got this bush plant thing to deal with, which I don't want to have to deal with. And I, I, for some reason, I just left click on it, thinking that's going to get to work, but it doesn't, because I'm a retard. Come on. Man, my neck is stiff. <laughs> Lol. Actually, that's not really a laughing matter. I could get, like, neck arthritis. But, um... Yeah, now, now I figure out that I have to press start, because I haven't played this game in a while, and I'm just acting like a retard. And pine planks, I can start not bothering to find chests full of pine planks, I can just... And I don't have to buy them anymore as well, I can just be self-sufficient. But yeah, my advisor holds up, my oracle, lol. <laughs> lol, there's a guy in it. He can't get out, I trapped him in my oracle. Uh, fail. I want to. I want to know. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna quit this helmet. Um, but what I want to know is if I can get statues of a premium Greek pack. I don't have to buy that extra pack which gives you statues and gardens because that's just a total rip off. If I get the premium pack, I should get everything that comes of it. Because I mean, I paid out like oh, seventeen quid for this shit. It... God, it's frustrating. Makes me sad face. But yeah, I'm just checking right now. Okay, I've got the premium pack, but I mean, can I get... Can I get, like, gardens and statues and shit with that? Because right now, I don't know. I can build small Greek residences, but I mean, that's of little to no concern for me. I just decided to put on some rawhide armor for my um, horses because i got a spare one. And, um, as you can see, I haven't equipped my Titan Forged Bow, which I should, but I don't actually do it. Um, that's partially because I'm stupid, and, uh, I forgot to do it, because I was so, so focused on my, uh, hypertists dudes, you know, those guys. And I also realise I can, um, learn another crafty score, and as you can see, my mouse just spazzed the fuck out. So yeah, I can learn Bandit Cavalry now. Not that I really care. They're pretty shitty consum consumables. Uh, what I want to learn is the um, the recipes. The recipes are what matter to me. And what the hell? No, I tried to learn an archery school, but then I realized I can only learn two. Which and I thought I could learn three instead. Um, so that's a shame. I really wanted to learn three. I would have been. I'm, I'm not really content with two. Three would have been better. As you can see, um, random fraps did something weird there. But yeah, I'm gonna build my cavalry school now because I can. Did I build it there? Do I, uh, do I build it? Oh, random lag. I think I build it there. Yeah, I build my cavalry school there. That's a pretty nice place to put it, actually. I'm glad where I put that. It fits well within the uh, within the little ridge. You see, I've now got a cavalry school. I've got arena. My town is like completely revamped. Um, I need to. I've I've I spent a lot of money. Um, rebuilding a lot of stuff. Come on, just what the hell am I doing? Just buy some bloody pine planks. I think it's because my mouse is spazzing out a little bit, and I I think I switch it um later on in um the episode after this, which I will probably come tomorrow on Monday, because I've got a whole bunch of files restacked now. It was a shame. I really wanted to get some uh some uh. 
Egyptian action going on, but you know, on everything. Do I put it there? I think I put it there. No, I don't. Oh no, no, I don't. I don't decide to spaz out. Oh yeah, I think I put it next to um. Yeah. No. Yeah, I think I put it there. Do I put it there? Come on, put it down. God, I'm such a douchebag when it comes to this. Uh, come on. <laughs> My mouse is spazzing out a bit as well, so. That's also a bit of an issue. Oh my god! Yes, I finally put it down! Alleluia! But yeah, now I have, um... Do I buy shit now? I didn't know that. I think I... Oh, I'm buying stuff. Okay. Oh yeah, I have like loads of Empire points, so I just decided to buy some things. And now I go to Cyprus, but there's nothing there. We got Crete, and we got Cyprus, and we got all that. And now... Now I am... Um, I am think I'm... Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Okay. What are my rewards for this? I can't remember. It's like I get a bunch of consumables, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not much of a reward. What do Persian guys even do anyway? I mean, they're the first pro civilization. If you don't, if you don't know already, um, that means they already start at level twenty. You have to pay for them now, which is stupid. And I think I start this quest, although we'll only be seeing like a minute and a half of it at most. But we'll be continuing later on. With that in the next episode. And I'm just thinking, okay, I could get these guys if I complete that quest. But that quest is kind of hard due to the galleons. The galleons are um, pretty tough in that quest. Because I tried that and I was like, okay, abandon immediately. Because they had like several hundred thousand elite galleons and that was not cool. So yeah, I'm going to um, start this quest. And, okay, repairing, good, I already know how to do that. So I'm immediately going to start building all this food. I think, I, I, was, I wasn't sure if whether that was one of the ones I had to repair, because I hadn't taken a good look at the map yet. So I just spam out villages, and um, I go to scout around. Although I don't scout much in this quest, and that comes to bite me back in the ass later. Spoiler alert, but yeah, it really does. Um, have a really negative effect. But um, that's all for this episode. Uh, this is Wizard Thirty signing out. Peace.